Hello friends, I have got three questions for you today. The first one is, are you from any of these countries that are listed on the screen? The second question is, are you between the age of 25 to 35 years of age? And the last question is, are you working within the governance and society theme or innovation and entrepreneurship? If the answers to any of the three questions are false is yes, then what I'm about to share is for you because I'm going to be talking about a fully funded program in the United States called the Professional Fellows Program that appeals to anybody that said yes to the three questions that I just asked. And so you will do well to watch this video to the end. In case you are not within the brackets of the questions that I asked, then you will do well to share this video to somebody that you may know may actually qualify for this opportunity. Before that, I would like to thank our dear subscribers for being part of the BMI Care TV community, supporting our journey so far. And if you are coming here for the first time, I am your host and my name is Dr. Brian Myla, a medical doctor by profession specialized in psychiatry. On this channel, we share opportunities that are available in different parts of the world in terms of academic prospects as well as career prospects. And so if content of this nature appeals to you or you know, aligns with your interest, then you will do very well to stick around and be part of the BMIK community by subscribing to our YouTube channel and going a step further by selecting all notifications after hitting that bell icon. And so without further ado, we will go straight into talking about the Professional Fellows Program. Stay tuned. So we will begin looking at this particular program. And in doing so, we are basically going to go to the web, web page where there is much more information about this program. So to start, we will look at the about the program. So you can actually see that we are on the Professional Fellows uh, website. So here we have information in terms of an overview, a brief overview about the program. So they highlight here that the Professional Fellows Program is sponsored by the U.S. Department of State's Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs and is administered by the American Councils for International Education. The PFP for Europe and Eurasia. So as you saw from the list of countries that we had on that page that I initially showed you, you notice that this program is actually for Europe and Eurasia. And so it's actually a two-way global exchange program that is designed to promote mutual understanding, enhance leadership and professional skills, as well as build lasting sustainable partnerships between mid-level emerging leaders from foreign countries and the United States. Participants are placed in intensive five to six weeks fellowships in nonprofit organizations, private sector businesses, and government offices across the United States for an individually tailored professional development experience. And this program was launched in 2012, and ever since it has been administered by the American councils. And so what we can do now is to basically look at some of the program elements. So as you can see here, fellows will participate in a virtual pre-departure orientation, as well as an arrival orientation in Washington, DC, 
fellows will spend four weeks in an individually tailored fellowship experience working in a US placement or host organization. Fellows will participate in a community service opportunity to engage with a US community and participate in civic engagement. Fellows will also develop on reciprocal project proposal to complete a project that meets a specific objective and builds on their participation in the professional fellows program. Fellows who have a home hospitality experience with an American host family. So you will be assigned a host family that will be able to assist you with your way around yeah, you know, the United States and if anything, the community where you will be hosted. The US-based exchange component will conclude with a capstone three-day professional fellows congress in Washington, DC. Now, some people may actually have questions, and if you go here, you actually see some of the frequently asked questions. So on here, you actually see what is the professional fellowship program all about? And of course, one of the most important question is, do I need to pay for the program? And what costs, you know, will I incur if I apply and I'm picked for this particular program? So you see on here that if you are selected as a finalist, the US Department of State will cover costs associated with your international travel, visa, and basic living costs in the US. And they highlight here that there are no required costs to fellows. So you may actually read much more information here. And one important thing to actually take note is that there are actually particular themes, two themes, governance and society, as well as innovation and entrepreneurship. So individuals coming from these countries that are listed here will apply under the governance and society theme, while as individuals coming from Belarus and Russia will apply under the innovation and entrepreneurship theme. So these are the uh, aspects of the frequently asked questions. These, you can actually look at them at your own time, because like always, I'm going to leave a link to these pages in the description box of this particular video so that you can actually explore this information at your own time, dear friends. And now, one thing that you would want to, you know, learn about even as we, you know, go further into looking at this, you know, particular opportunity is that you want to basically look at the how to apply Yes, we want to look at the how to apply. So you can actually see here that there's a whole lot of instructions on how to basically apply. So starting your application. So this is information which again, I'll be able to leave in the description box so that you can actually go through at your own time. But Cardinal is that I wanted to just highlight briefly some eligibility criteria. So you can actually see a list of eligibility criteria here that one actually needs to be from these countries and they need to be an emerging leader in government, uh, civil society or the private sector. And then further on is the age requirement, which is between the ages of 25 and 35 years. And so friends, if you want to apply for this particular program, you can actually see here that, uh, you know, we have a section here which says apply now on this particular uh, website. So if you click on this, it will actually take you to the, you know, American Council website. So when you click here, let me just click for you so that you actually see what I'm talking about. So it will take you here where you'll be expected to create an account and then from there you can actually begin the application uh, process so dear friends this is one of you know the fully funded programs that i thought i could share with you my friends from europe and eurasia so that if 
this appeals to your interest, or at least if you do know somebody that might want to take advantage of this wonderful opportunity of a fully funded professional development program in the United for in the United States for five to six weeks, then you can actually, you know, jump on this opportunity and probably share it with somebody that you might know might actually be interested in this particular uh, program. Otherwise, for now, I would like to simply say thank you very much for watching this video. And if you did like this particular video, please give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that it can be shared with a number of, of people. And if you would want to know in terms of deadline for this particular program, there's one thing that you can actually take note that, uh, you know, deadlines for programs like this tend to actually vary. And they vary in terms of the countries that are actually participating. So you basically have to go to your embassy that is specific to your country, the U.S. embassy that is specific to your country. Then from there, you'll be able to see the deadline. But in a nutshell, I would like to show here for Moldova that on their website, the U.S. Embassy website, the, the program is actually listed on there. And they actually highlight the deadline for this particular program in terms of when one should actually submit an application. I think they talk about uh, January as, 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 as the deadline that one would like to you know take note of so if you come here you actually can see that uh, in terms of deadline they are saying january 31 2023 and so in any case you still have time for you to actually apply for this particular uh, program and so this is one piece of information that i wanted to highlight even before you know, I say bye to you. But before that, I'd like to encourage all those that are coming here for the first time to please subscribe to our YouTube channel, be part of the community so that you can actually, you know, take advantage of all the opportunities we share on this particular channel. We have actually already shared quite a number of opportunities that are available in different parts of the world. United States, Canada, Australia, you know, as well as other opportunities that are available within Africa uh, in itself, Sub-Saharan Africa. And so if you are one of those people looking for opportunities, and remember 2023 is another year, and this year should be dedicated for winning. And so if you want to be part of the winning team, a team that will succeed in terms of securing opportunities that they're looking for, then we are here to actually share some of those opportunities so that in your own time, you can actually look at these opportunities and see if these opportunities actually apply or appeal to you or align with your career prospects uh, your professional goals and then from there you can actually pick it up do your own research and then see if you would like to jump on such opportunities for now friends i would like to simply say thank you so much for watching this particular uh, video and as of now i can simply say bye-bye until we meet next time in another video